guys welcome again to my youtube channel where we'll give you updates uh please if this is the first time of watching our youtube channel click on the subscribe button hit on the notification bell drop your comment in the comment section of course uh, there has been a big fight between charlie boy so popularly known as area father and simon ekba of course charlie boy is a proudly supporter of peter obi movement and simon ekba i would not say it's against peter obi but his vision and his plan is for Ibo's um biafra It's for Ibo Biafra. Sorry for that um, vibration. I um, just got a call. It's for Ibo Biafra. Okay, so um, Charlie Boy has accused Simon Ekba um, of con having a strong connection with the APC and the Bola Ahmed Tinibu's family. Um, according to Charlie Boy, that Deji Tinibu, um, who is supposed to be the father of Tinibu, sponsored, um, sponsored Simon Ekba while he was an artist okay um of course you know someone like bah, everybody know him with that gold medal he won during the immigration race of course so charlie boy wrote via twitter and though according to him he said do you know the rascal simon ekba with the lead a fraction of ipob do you know he has very strong connection with apc do you know that it was the late Deji Tinibu that sponsored Simon Ekba's Atlantic career and sent him abroad. Do you know that Simon represented Lagos State that is coming from um, Charlie Boy? But Simon Ekba have debunked that, that he never represented Lagos State. He has never met or know anyone called Deji Tinibu before. And if truly what they are saying is we should provide a picture evidence or any evidence to prove that yes, he had a strong connection with the Deji Tinibu's family according to their claim. Simon Ekba also said that during the time of his athletes, he never run for or participated under Lagos State, but rather he was proud enough to participate under Delta State. So I'll be, I'll be reading Simon Ekba's tweet for you so that you hear. According to him, he said, disregard these drug users. Someone who lives on narcotics. I never represented Lagos State during my sports days. I don't know who is Deji Tenable. This Nketa Ara should be ashamed of himself that he couldn't found any Igbo man worthy to sponsor me but some Tenable guy. Yet the fight against Eurobars. During my sports days, I represented Delta State, Nigeria Immigration, and Nigeria. And in all this, I was a top athlete. Tell the idiots to bring evidence that I have ever represented Lagos State. I won my good. I won many gold medal for Nigeria. Immigration, uh, Nigeria immigration during Nigeria security and uniform games. I had nothing with Lagos State. I proudly represented Delta State. That is coming for Simon Ekba. The hit did not just end there. Simon Ekba went on and keep firing um, Charlie Boy on various issue. Okay, on various issue. And um, of course, you know, um, according to Simon Ekba, he said he's angry and he will soon expose name of underage boy area father defied um of course <clears throat> i will not say anything on that i'm only reading what someone like passage guys twitter and do and because i have no evidence to know if um charlie boy actually defied younger boys or not but um i know someone like for one thing let's hope he, he, he fulfills what he said because he said he will soon be dropping evidence we'll be exposing names of underage boys area father the fight so we'll be waiting for that names i'll be waiting for more clarity from simon ekba according to him simon ekba he said i will soon start to expose the names of underage boys he area father the fight is it because nigeria is lawless country and those corrupt and criminals in government re respected your late father and hide many reports of rape under the carpet. I will give courage to victims to come forward soon. That is 
was Simon Ek by saying that very soon he will give courage to, to victim whom um, Charlie Boy has defied. Man, on Twitter, Twitter has been busy between these two, these two people. Okay, it has been busy between these two people. And um, however, Simon Ekba has said again that. Um, Tell Mr. Nyash, that is the person of area father, Charlie Boy, um, to bring my picture with any politician in Nigeria. So he was part of the drug cartel of official Tinebu. Of course, you know someone like that. He has brought a picture of Charlie Boy and Tinebu, and he has, he's accusing Charlie Boy as um, being part of drug cartel with official Tinebu. Um, he said this was when his third leg was very active for the Nigerian criminal gang come politicians. Today, the Ijota is claiming one DG Tinibu sponsored me. But this picture has proved that he has benefited from the so-called Tinibu, not me. And of course, I told you before that there's going to be a lot of uh, more talk on this. And also, for that, it's going to be bringing a lot of talk on this issue. However, there is a report um, that 60 million Nigerians uh, are suffering from mental illness, according to psychiatrics. Um, I said mental health care is in a so sorry state, given that we have more than 60 million Nigerians suffering from various mental illness, um, according to them. Okay, um, so. Simon Ekba said, uh, when I'm fighting for Nigerian government, reacting to this news of over 60 million Nigerians suffering from mental illness, Simon Ekba said, uh, when I'm fighting for Ni fighting Nigerian government for Biafra independence and Nigerians and some Nigerian Biafrans like Area Father telling you I am working for official Tinubu, the problem is in their reports. 60 million Nigerians suffer from mental illness. What it means, um, Area Father um, is suffering from mental illness, and that's why he's saying that he, Simon Ekba, is working for Tinibu. Okay, guys, that is all we will take from Simon Ekba today. Let's check uh, more updates as we give you updates. Please, as we do that, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the notification bell. Drop your comment in your comment section. Thank you, and God bless you. All right, so before we round up what we have for you guys today, let me give you this. Um, this one is coming from a lawyer, Jamako. I said, when the government accuses you of treason, it makes you an enemy of state and a prime target for extrajudicial repressal by overzealous security agent and pro-government militia. Mazit Namdekanu was accused of treason before he was redemptioned a day after Miyati Allah placed a bounty on him. That is coming from um, Aloy Ujimako speaking on Mazit Namdekanu issue. Okay, guys, that is all we have for you. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Drop your comment in the comment section. Thank you and God bless you.